everyone. Welcome back to Text Talk and Shop. This month is a little bit different. It's more about talking about the shop, what happens around it. Um, well, so what I'm going to do, since I can't really give a tour of my work or anything like that, um, I'm going to give you a short tour of my house and I'll show you what I'm currently working on. Um, so what I'm currently working on right now is my 1991 Ford Probe. It's a 2.2 liter. Um, it's an automatic. And what I'm doing to it is uh, basically saving it because it was hit by a deer last November. Um, it stove the front end up pretty good, smashed the hood, the fender got tweaked, smashed the headlight right off, um, and these have those pop-up headlights, um, so, and the core support, that got pushed in, so, it's, it's been, uh, quite the task. So, here at my home, we do have a garage, but of course, probably like a lot of people, it's got a bunch of junk in it. <laughs> um, we got to do a lot of organizing. Um, I don't know. I might, I don't think I'll show you right now what's inside it, but I'll definitely show you outside. I work outside basically all the time here. And we... Um, yeah, I got my Ford Probe project going, and my husband is in the process of working on his Grand Marquis. So, yeah, I'll show you. I gotta get ready, though. Bugs are killer out here. Okay, let's do this. So, that's my probe. Um... It has a black hoodie on it now. Just yesterday, I put that on. We actually went to Massachusetts to find another parts car. It wasn't too far in the mass. Um, I'm from Maine, so it was, it was a day project, kinda. <sighs> and it's pretty close, so I just gotta put it all back together. I have to put the fender back on and the front bumper, but it's pretty close. And this right here, oh, there's my cat, is my husband's Grand Marquis. It has or had a lift in it. Um, we took the rear end out, sitting over there. Don't mind the mess. Those radiators are from my probe and that probe over there. Oh, he took the rear end out. He's putting a different set of gears in it and we haven't attacked the front end yet. Uh, the reason why we are taking the lift out is because it just can't stand our roads here. We tried, but it keeps it keeps falling apart. Parts get worn out really quick. Our roads are pretty rough here in Maine, and it's just not lasting. The lift just isn't as good a quality as we was hoping for. So we're bringing her back down. And so that's the rear end. That's the hood. I took off my red probe pretty stove up and that's the bumper for my probe and this is that's the parts car that we picked up um so once I get my little probe running I'm gonna look this over better and decide if this will be solid enough for the 302 swap Yes, uh, I have this little dream that I want to take the engine out of my 
1985 Mustang that I have out back and stuff it in a Ford probe and make it rear wheel drive. A giant freaking project that I have never done anything like at all. So I would be 100% winging it. And of course my husband would be helping me. Um, going over to the Mustang right now. The Mustang, the reason why I'm taking it out of this Mustang is because it's in, it's in really rough shape. Uh, I drove it for like a year or two, but it's, there's a part of the frame that is rotted real bad, very bad. And so, as much as I hate to do it, I gotta get rid of it. I don't have time to restore it. I just don't, especially with a big project like I want to do. And, well, it'd just be easier to fix this up and leave the probe alone. Well, yeah, it would, but you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to. So, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and do what I want to do. So, she's in the weeds right now. We haven't moved her yet. This, oh, it's not, I don't know. Spring, summer, whatever you want to call it. But, we got the, like, I have the transmission out of it already. Uh, I need to get the engine out, and I'd like to take all the suspension out, just in case if I might need it for that project, for the Ford, for the probe. But, yeah. There she is. And we got some other junk out here, too. Uh, this one right here is from my, I got this from my father, pretty much using it as a parts truck for that truck over there. That one's my husband's. He wants to restore it someday soon. It belonged to his best friend who passed on at a young age, unfortunately. So that truck's name is Nick. And then that is just a giant piece of crap. <laughs> That's nothing special at all. Um, it is so worn out and it's rotted in so many places. We're just gonna pretty much junk it. I think my husband wants the engine out of it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. He might change his mind and we might just get rid of it. it has a 6.0 in it. So, if you care to see more of this, uh, whatever you want to call it, craziness, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I have four videos up now of putting back together my Ford Probe, and I'm going to be making some more today. So you'll see a little bit of the action. It'll be similar content that I'll post on my YouTube channel when I get it done. And yeah. So today I am putting, I have to put on the fender and then I gotta attach my headlight motor. I gotta clean up the hood latch and Put on the front bumper. I'm deciding if I should put that stuff on and then check. I don't know. And then check and see how it runs on the road. It hasn't been on the road yet this year, but uh, it has. I had to put a new radiator in it, and it's running like it normally was last year so far. So that's good. But I haven't put it on the road yet, so. Yeah, here we go. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm checking the fitment of the fender, the hood, and the headlight. Um, that's the side that the deer landed on, so everything's a little bit messed up. So I had to kind of bend it and try to find a good placement for the headlight since it moves up and down.
Hey, all right, you guys. Well, I guess I'm gonna end it right there. I don't wanna, I don't know. I don't wanna make the video too super long, but you get the gist. You get the tour of all my uh, odd projects. And um, yeah, if you wanna see more about the probe, just check out my channel. If not, and carry on. <laughs> But uh, thank you very much for watching. We all really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And we will see you next time. Text talk, talk and shop. Also, um, make sure you watch everyone else's videos. Because they are awesome. Doing a great job. They're really cool. I really enjoy being part of this. So, yeah. See you guys next time.